In order to demonstrate the picking process in the LN Warehouse Mobility module of Factory Track, it's necessary first of all to set up some data in LN. So I'm going to go to Common Warehouse Mobility, General Parameters, and check that the parameters are set up correctly in the first place. I go to the Picking tab, and I check that my predefined stage location is set up and my pick zone is set up. These locations are used to identify to the scanner when items have physically been picked but where the release outbound step has not yet been initiated. So in this case we have picked as a stage location and we have pick zone as the zone where we are going to put the items that we have picked. So the next thing I need to do is to set is to check that those are set up in the warehouse that I'm going to work with. So in this case I'm going to work with warehouse FT7WM2. First thing I need to check is that the pick zone is set up. It is. Then I need to check the locations that are there. So the first thing I need to do is I need to check my cart location, which is the location that I'm going to put the items that I've picked before they get released. And that is set up as a cart location and it belongs to the correct pick zone. And I need to check that the picked location is also there and has a status of staging. So what is going to happen is when I create a warehouse order, I'm going to generate an outbound advice. And that outbound advice is going to tell me to go and pick this item and move it to some staging location. When I'm physically doing this on the scanner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the item from that location and I'm going to place it into a cart because physically I've taken it out of the location. It no longer is there. I'm also going to change the staging location to this picked location. Again, these are both done so that I can identify what has physically been picked, even though the outbound advice might not yet be released. The next step is to check that the warehouse order steps are set up correctly. So if I go to master data, order types, I've set up an order type called FTS. This just has the minimal steps of generate outbound advice, release outbound advice, and freeze and confirm shipments. This is what I would recommend to demonstrate the picking. But obviously, if you want to include the picking list steps, then you can do so. In that case, we would always recommend that you pick against the pick list rather than against the outbound advice. You do not want in any circumstances to have to use the scanner to pick the same order twice, once against the outbound advice and once against the pick list. You either do it against the outbound advice or you do it against the pick list. And if you're using the pick list steps, then we would always recommend that you perform the pick against the pick list steps. The next thing is to set up an order. In this case, I've just created a sales manual order. It really doesn't matter what type of order you have. You, know, you can use a sales order, you can use any sort of order, but fundamentally, we need to have a, a warehouse order which is set up with the correct order type. In this case, I've added a couple of items, one which is a standard item, one which is a lock controlled item, and I've generated an outbound advice. So if I go and have a look at the outbound advice, I see that for line one, it's telling me to go and pick 100 from A005, and the staging location is stage. And for line two, it's telling me to pick both from A002, but obviously for different lots, 56 of this and 44 of that. So this is what has been done in LN, and now we are ready to perform the picking transaction in Factory Track. First thing I will do there is I will go to the Master Explorer configuration parameters, transaction set maintenance, and check what parameters I have set for the picking transaction. So if I go to picking, I can have a look at the order type parameters. So it's picking by order. I can change that, but for this, I'm going to leave it as that. And the order type parameters here. So my default order type is sales manual, but that doesn't matter. And the key thing here is the cart location. This is what the location where all the items I pick are going to be placed. And the factory track staging location are both set up correctly here. In this case, I have not selected release outbound. So this means that as I pick the items, I'm not immediately going to release the outbound. I'm just going to move them from the original location to the cart location. So I'm just going to open the scanner in a, using a shortcut. 
and I'm going to go to the outbound transactions. I'm going to go to picking and I'm going to start the picking process. So in this case, I want to check what my order number was, which was this number. So I pick this and it shows me I have three lines to pick. Uh, from A002, I need to pick 56 of this, 44 of that. And from A005, I need to pick 100 of the first item. The reason they're in this sequence is because the pick list is displayed in picking sequence on the location. So obviously A002 has an earlier picking sequence than A005. This is telling me the item to be picked, where to pick it from, how many to pick, and which lot I'm supposed to pick. So I'll select the first line. And depending on the parameters, it will ask me to either scan in these fields or not. In this case, it's telling me to scan them in. So I've scanned in all the fields. If we go back to the parameters, if I had decided I don't need to scan the lot number because I don't care about that or to change it, then I would just deselect these. In this case, I had all of these selected. So that is why it is asking me to scan in all the fields. So I've just confirmed that I have picked 56 at this lot from that location of that item. So I submit, and what this does is this will go and update the outbound advice. So if we go back and have a look at the outbound advice now, what we'll see is if I go back to the outbound advice of this item, then what we'll see is if I look at the second line, look at the outbound advice, then I'll see that the it's physically moved the 56 from the original location to the cart location and it's also changed the stage location. This means now when I call up the same query it realizes that the first line has been has been picked already. Even though the outbound is not yet released, if I go back to LN, it isn't released, it's still not released or picked, but it deter it checks to see ah this the two location is the picked location which means that I have physically picked it on the scanner. So now I'll repeat this for the other two lines. So again, I'll confirm that I'm picking 44 of this. And finally, I'll pick the, the first item. Again, I'm picking it from the right location and picking the full quantity. Successful. So now if I try and find anything else to pick, it will say no orders to pick. That is because the outbound advice here, everything is set to picked. So if I go for, this is the uh, line 20 on the order. If I look on line 10 on the order, it's all in picked. So all this means now is that I have now physically picked it. But as you can see, the items are not yet released. The reason we do this is because if I now go to the release outbound, then optionally, one of the checks I can put in there is to check all lines are picked. The reason it will, the way it knows that all lines are picked is if all the from locations are in the cart, if they all belong to the pick zone. So that is why we do that. So that shows the print, basic principle of how the picking transaction works.